Wednesday night move for you. And there's what we got for the end of the sunset. Let's see if we get a sunrise in the morning. So I had to laugh. Rainy come out with me. She usually does. And uh, we step around the corner right there. And right about there is red. <laughs> but Tortoise running outside and he's gone. <laughs> he just in here getting him a little calf shit. And yeah, there's the token heifer calf. Right there in her favorite spot. Cuddled up to mama. And I don't know if you can hear them or not, but the froggies are all making noise tonight. Well, most of them. And this is just another one of those nights. I didn't think there were that many in the feed barn. Obviously, there is. Only got to worry about two of them here to have calves because why? That one down there? That's Ruby. She ain't going in her. So, Rainy will escort me back to the trailer. We will go in and hopefully get a good night's sleep. I really should have got you another shot of the moon, but I don't know if it's still out there now. It was when I came out. That was then, right? And, oh, why it's fuzzy. It tends to do that at night more. Yeah, that's a waste. A loose screw or missing screw or something in her head. Oh, uh, there's the moon, but the lights annoy. It's it's a nice little crescent laying on its back. Well, sure, I sit here on the bike and watch her, and she's got her head in here just looking at me inquisitively. Standing there like a good mother. When we all know better than that. I stand up, she jerks back. I just happen to remember it almost looked like we might gonna have a good sunrise. And I haven't been out here to see. I missed the best part, but ah, I see. Oh, it's not showing up. Let's see if we can make it show up. Oh, look at there. That looks like they're working on making a chemtrail. Just turned it on and starting to make a little swirl to it. Mm. Anyway, and uh, Ty's already here with Blakely. I hadn't even fed yet. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's kind of white looking out there. About 29 this morning. Far cry from the 38th, they said, or 37, whatever it was. That's back into that normal pattern again, I guess. So anyway, I'm sitting here, enjoying my coffee, making sure she don't kick the crap out of him, and uh, catching up on YouTube. It's what I do in the morning. I even, while I'm wandering around, try to get caught up, so few more comments and I think one more video and I'm caught up for the day at least for now what a crew what a crew huh good morning sapphire good morning 241 what you want my hand well don't take it from me I need the camera to show everybody else yeah, that's my finger it's my finger Oh, 6'11", you're awful close. What do you think? Not quite going to be that close? Okay. Oh, 6'18". Not going to do it. Huh. And yeah, blue and red go to talk while they eat. I don't know how those guys can eat so fast when they spend so much time talking. So, who wants breakfast? Who wants breakfast? Is that a yes? Well, we know that's a yes from you, too. Hmm. You look like you're crying. How come? Uh oh. Yeah, that's my hand. 
Are you going to reach out and touch it? Are you going to reach out and take my phone? And right now, Sapphire, my left hand is underneath my right bicep as I'm leaning on the gate. And Sapphire is licking my left hand. And of course, when I move, she backs off. You are a silly brat. Okay, get this done. Iceman's done eating, so I figured I can go do this. And one of the fun jobs I got to do today, old garbage can there with the dog food bag in it. We, uh, it's easier just to dump into the bag that's in there. The top's rolled down so it holds it open. I got to dump another bag in there today, too. I hate dumping dog food. But, you know, they kind of demand it. Figure, they got a job to do and they do it pretty good, so we'll keep them fed. I swear, they were all really goofing off today. But you didn't know Boomer could move that fast, did you? I wouldn't get in her way. So, I got a bit of figuring. They're watching me through the doorway over there as I feed these girls who I fed toward that end because calves were laying here and they were trying to step on them before I did anything and look at her what a scrapper she'll hold her own against the boys anyway I only had two cows in here when I started to feed yeah they'll get their green no worries and she's still standing there I'm just going to let her chill for a little bit no worries, I'll let her out before I walk out of the barn. Somebody squished her fingers again. Put one hand on the front of her front part and one on the back and it squished at the handle of the drawers. Boom. How's your fingers? How's your fingers? Huh? Yeah? Hey, get used to it. You follow what your mommy and daddy do, you'll do that a lot more. You need grumpy. Even what I do. And what Ty does. Uh oh. Yeah, I almost kicked, stepped on a bench. You just get kicked in the fingers by the cat when you reach in. And I have to have a discussion with the cat about where she's sitting because I'm going to sit there. And enjoy a little Blakely time. There, she got tired of sitting on my lap. She just crawled down and crawled over and grabbed a hold of that. And you now she's going to eat it and sit down. Tiki has O's over there for you. Silly kid. Aren't you, Blakely? You going to get back up and cruise around? No. I'm going to go over here and bonk my head on the Wish stairs. She just bonked her head on the recliner when she sat down and crawled down. Careful. She's going to steal the old water jug. She's not pulling my coat off the rack. Careful. Careful. <laughs> I used to call that a shit-eating smile. Oh, did I say that? No, looky there. There she is. Imagine that. But there's nobody in the pen with her. Not even outside. I got a model mate. Ty got a bottle made for Iceman. Got him up over the hump. And, give me just a minute, we'll see where he's at. Yeah, see, I found her with a bottle. Oh, and there's two calves down here now. <laughs> neither one of them know what to do. Yeah, neither one of them have had a friend. Well, Ice has a couple. Well, it's on the other side of the fence. He's never been over on this side of the barn, so he's been checking it out. No, and they were, he was in together with Charlie. Yeah, but not very long. And she, <laughs> I believe in C's cap just isn't sure what to think Finger about this. Finger has no idea. She's like, okay, I'll sm smell ya. He still got something goofy with that right front. But... You see, Bob? Drags it. I noticed that yesterday, so I'm kind of wondering. She got him the other day. 
Oh, that's right. She didn't kick you. It's, that's that one. <laughs> Cougar, you're a anyway. shit. What happened to your face? My mom was sitting on me because I was eating from the back where she couldn't kick me. Well, it wasn't dirty like that this morning. Yeah, it was. It was in the camera this morning. You already finished your mama, mama. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that happened while I was feeding everybody else. Mm, excuse me, who knows? Would you let me get the goober out of your eye? Oh. So, anyway, Bye. he's over here now. And I, she must have done a little damage to that knee because it looks bigger than it did. He's been running and jumping on it. Yeah, yeah, but when he walks, he drags it. He isn't bending it. I'm picking his hook up. He's dragging it. He bent it this morning. He didn't walk in up here. I just watched. So, ah. Um, I lifted his heavy ass up that step. Thank you. So, anybody see who that is? The brat. No. Oh, it's too heavy one. The brat's right there. The brat was trying to eat my arm while I was talking to the rest of them this morning. Oh, Blue's going to come visit. Blue probably in here licking his nose. He ain't arguing too much about that. It's all right, Mama. He's just a playmate. Well, anybody remember this thing? One of the things that was in the house, something that Dad made God knows when. I mean, I knew it was, you know, for running something through. All kinds of ports in there. And then this is kind of different. We got a port here for the top row. A port here for the top row. And then two different Set for the bottom row. Hey, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Um, thrust bearing was in here, and then that went in here. I still don't know what it was for, but I'm debating on if that's a big enough usable chunk of brass to keep for making a bushing or something. Or throw it in a barrel. I mean, thrust wash would be great for something, but the odds of having the right size pretty much nil. Obviously, that's a good hard washer to keep. Debating, do I pop the balls out? Because we do use balls for stuff. And debating on keep that for a washer or something. I don't know. But, yeah. I gotta get some stuff cleaned up in here for the guy shows up with his tractor and I don't think he's going to be real soon because it still froze out and I wouldn't want to drive it to three miles in the shade <laughs> if you have to it'll warm up later but all this crap's got to move because I'm going to want to put it pretty much right there and keep stuff away from it because I think I'm going to be fixing the exhaust manifold with the manifold on which might be interesting Hopefully I don't bust the hell out of it trying to do it. But anyway. And, yeah, I was starting to go through this stuff. I showed you this before. Handmade. Even A period, C period, shop. So. And that's going to go up there. But Becky took the tall ladder out of here. Can't reach it. Anyway, I get my butt moving. Well, I can't really see the screen. I see a reflection. I don't see what's on it. I think you get to see her. So, my arm so long. <laughs> like I said, all I see is a reflection. Yeah. Um, before lunch, Mom had a appointment. Kaiser sent it person out to visit with her, check on her, give her some advice on a few things, and so I sat in on that, and you quit leading it over, you're going to fall, kid, so now we're out here, like I said, I don't know where she is, she should be somewhere, right, uh, I did some work in the shop while I was in there, 
guy that's supposed to bring your tractor over couldn't get his tractor started. Had some stuff to go do. We might still see it today. And I think... No, dogs are still at the house. Ty was going to make ice down part of a bottle. Give it to him at lunch. And Blakely and I are checking cows. And I think she's going to get kicked over. It just hasn't happened yet. And Blakely is slipping. She wants to be a wiggle butt and lean back. And... Look at that little heifer's in her normal spot. Beautiful day out. And every last one of them's in here. And none of them have calved yet. Go figure. I'm beginning to wonder. Oh, you don't hear any radio in the background. It's just a figment of your imagination. Hey, Baker. But stick your butt in there and hanging out outside where she can find a little sun. Oh, Shade's starting to get there. And time must be done feeding ice, man, because she's down there with one of the carts cleaning it up. And it's the one that was in here that I was going to work on. So we'll see if it comes back in. But there we go. She gets to be out in the sun. And it's, yes, a very beautiful day. Probably in the mid-50s. It's t-shirt weather and the wind's not blowing, so you can leave the t-shirt off. <laughs> you really never know what's going to happen around here. <laughs> Easter came around. Pardon my knee. That's, oh, your, that's oh. your Easter present. Here, Blake. Mom, you got the cow. Blake. And, and it's Becky's new toy, right? Come here, Becky. Pardon the knee again and the fact that she's rolling around she can't see anything. She says, no, Ma, we'll get this thing out of the way so I can go straight to you. You gotta get through the hole. Ah, Come on, Blakey. Come on, Blakey. Ty's gonna try next. Come on, Blakey. I don't know if I fit. All right, look at you. So, look at I'm over you. here because Amazon came, so. The dirt spawner buds because my business. I'm the secondary delivery okay, person. Okay, I threw it back at you. Come here. She'll probably go back and forth on it. <laughs> the, the things we do for mid-afternoon breaks. Yeah. Hey, uh, she's not in the shop anymore because, well, somebody didn't bring the diaper bag over. And somebody, I, I think, pootered in their diapers. So. Here. No, she farted. She just did oh, not. Oh, it was just wet. <laughs> Wet and stinky instead of sticky. Mm -hmm. Your cats will probably have fun with this, too. Okay, we're going to throw it down there. We'll turn it around and we'll FaceTime her mom. Oh. <laughs> I suppose that's enough. Just going to go back and forth, stare at my knees. Well, Dave at Rolling Hill Farm says that uh, he wants video of me spreading a bucket while I walk the plank. Uh, I was going to have. I do it, but yeah, she got him fed and she cleaned the bottle up and we got to run down and help the neighbor quick. So I told him maybe I'll set the tripod up somewhere and do it, you know, or what I should do is probably get the GoPro out because, you know, I can control that off my phone and put it over there or something. That way you're not watching me. <laughs> You'll see it from the other angle and you won't think I'm going to fall. But anyway, this is our Thursday. Friday, we've got a clean feed barn in the two-year-old's lot. And unfortunately, Becky has a doctor's appointment and she has to clean house, which means Tylin won't be on the skid steer. I will. And I haven't heard about the tractor that's supposed to show up to work on. So that'll probably be sometime mixed up in there, too. Might be interesting. It's 511 C's calf down there. Be bopping and playing. So anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see what I can get you for tomorrow. Say bye-bye, Brad. Yeah. She says, feed me. Feed me, servant. Feed me. Demanding girls. <laughs>